everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. Well, uh, it is Saturday, and today I'm working on a couple projects on the BT Cruiser. Tucker and May May are out in the little Wolfpack pen playing. These are some of the things I'm doing. I've installed solar on the BT Cruiser. These are to uh, tie my batteries down a little bit better. Got some cables that I've got to install. And, uh, Gosh, where to, where to begin? Would you guys believe here it is October 21st and this tomato plant is still producing tomatoes. I'm eating, gosh, 10 or 20 ripe tomatoes a day. Can you believe that? This whole thing here. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Now the vine is taking a beating. It doesn't look as good as it once did. But, uh, that baby tomato, it's October 20th, 21st, guys. Incredible. So I've sent out tons and tons of tomato seeds to you guys. And uh, if you still want some, it's not too late. Send me a self-addressed envelope to uh, the address down in the description and I'll send you some. Huh. Look at Felix's tomatoes here. He's got little yellow bells, red tomatoes. What are you doing? What are you doing? And even with the dogs playing in them, they're still producing. There's his little yellow bells. Yep, here's some of his uh, heirloom tomatoes he's grown. But the other day, I was laying back in this uh, zero gravity chair right here of course I, all the dogs are on top of me and I looked up over at a tree and I saw something strange now here's my view from my chair will make you dizzy yeah I got a trash can here on the porch but right there you see those there. See the tree? In the leaf? I kept looking at it and I rubbed my eyes and looked again and I rubbed my eyes and looked again. We got a little bit of wind and the light's a little bit different, but I'm going to show you some pictures I took with my cell phone camera. I saw, I saw Martini's face in the trees looking back at me. And so I, I, I said, nobody's going to believe this. So I got out my camera and took a picture of it. So you guys tell me what you think down in the comments below. I really thought I was kind of losing my mind. Uh, I probably am, but tell me, got, tell me what you think. Doesn't that look like Martini? Felix has gone to the grocery store and he left this foxy lady here with the wolf pack. She's a sweet thing. He has spent a lot of time with Foxy. And uh, so I'm, I'm playing babysitter today. There's the wolf pack. So I've installed a 160 watt panel on top of the BT Cruiser. It's about five feet by, I think it was 28 inches. And that takes up all the room that I've got here. Um, so it's 160 watts, bought it off eBay. And I drilled a hole and ran straight through down into the cabinet. I went with a Renogy. MPPT solar control charger. Um, supposed to be more efficient and get all the available power out of that one panel. So this is a 20 amp version. So the solar panel is right above here and it comes down into this cabinet, um, goes into here. I ran the wires back through the closet down and into up under the sofa here. 
Now the meter that I ordered was a, I believe it's MT5, and they sent me an MT1, and it's not uh, able to talk to this solar charge controller, but a new one's on the way. And I put my Cobra, uh, I believe this is 2,500 watt, yeah, 2,500 watt uh, inverter right here. I just mounted it to the couch. And this still, I'm able to access it. And I hooked this uh, inverter up to these two batteries, and I'll show you these batteries in just a second um, where they're not mounted. Um, so I've got two batteries on the top, and then I've got two batteries in the factory location on the outside. And what the cables I showed you earlier were, I'm going through the floor to connect the two battery banks together. Now this compartment, it only had one 12 volt deep cycle battery in the back. And these are cell phone tower batteries that I have a source for here local. Uh, from a buddy of mine. So I've got two here and two identical ones up there. It's very important that all your batteries match. But these are data safe. 12HX 540FR. Um, I looked them up, I uh, googled them, and they run around $500 a piece. And I have four of them. Of course I bought them used and didn't pay near that. I'm taking these blocks out and I'm putting that angle iron you saw earlier in there to hold them uh, better. And I'm doing the same thing under the couch. And if I'm if I'm correct, I believe these are around 130 to 150 amp hours a piece. I need to look it up to make sure. But that ought to give me plenty of juice. So I have. 160 watt solar then the alternator charges these which will charge all four now and the converter when I'm plugged in will charge them as well so these are one gauge wires I've got to run and get this installed and these are the brackets I'm going to use to cut and put around the batteries top and bottom. Now I have a lot of people that uh, have approached me and say, Kevin, can you find me some of these batteries? Um, I have a source, but I don't know, uh, I can't tell when they're coming in. I will tell you this though, what I've learned uh, about buying batteries. Um, the, cell the cell phone towers uh, they use these battery banks for when the power is out. Uh, that way they can run the system off the batteries during interruptions and whatnot. Most of these batteries have a warranty of about two years. And when that warranty is up, the cell phone tower people, uh, they send in their repairman just to replace them. Most of these batteries are good for over 15 years if you take care of them. Now, this is not a, a AGM, it's a sealed lead acid. Um, but it's used in hospitals, it's used in cell phone towers and everything like that. Um, I, but I guess the point I'm trying to make is you don't have to go and buy brand new batteries. They're very expensive. Um, these used on average around $65, $75. And they're only two years old. Um, I was able to get a dozen of them. Um, and I have a buddy of mine that owns a, a metal recycling place and I actually bought them for $20 a piece. And the batteries are fantastic. Uh, I think they're date coded two years ago, or two and a half years. Uh, I doubt that they've even been cycled one time. And when I've run across uh, uh, the guys that change these batteries out, they have them by the hundreds. And you know, not everybody's into solar, uh, so what they do, they take them to metal scrap recyclers and just sell them for the lead content. Uh, basically, you're getting, they're getting uh, $20 for a, a $500 battery. 
and they come in all different sizes. They come in all different brands, um, but they're all, from what I've seen, 12 volt. Um, so, before you purchase new or order new, go to your metal recyclers and see if there are any cell phone tower people that drop off the batteries from time to time. Usually it's not regular, but from time to time, and put your name on a list. That way when they come in, you'll have first pick. They'll give you a call when they come in. I mean, if you like to save money and all that kind of good stuff. I like to save money and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> so basically, it's just a, a small update uh, video. Let you guys know what's going on with, it, with me and the channel. I'm very, very much enjoying my BT Cruiser. Uh, it's just the perfect size. I'm getting 8 to 10 miles per gallon. Uh, not really any better fuel economy with uh, this front end versus the Class C front end. Not really any difference in fuel economy, uh, 22 versus 32 feet. Uh, the V10, that's what a V10 gets. Um, however, it is easy to park. I guess if I had to be real critical of the BT Cruiser so far, my least favorite thing is I don't have much room to prepare food. That's it. Um, put the shocks on and uh, ended up putting on, uh, even though the bushings looked good, put on these sway bar bushings on the front. And uh, that's helped it drive much better. So, just a little update video to let you know what's going on with the camper van Kevin and the Wolf Pack and his BT Cruiser. I'm not going to uh, film hooking up cables and everything. You guys know how to do that. But uh, my next video, maybe I can show you the results and let you know how this system's working. But until then, you guys take care. Enjoyed seeing you again. Uh, make sure to check me out on Camper Van Kevin on Facebook. And uh, we'll see you again soon. I got to get to work. Talk to you guys later.